Ladies and gentlemen, da 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 da. Melina, da 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 da. Melina's gonna dance, da 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 da. Melina's gonna dance, da 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 da. Melina's gonna dance, da 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 da. Melina, 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 da 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 da. Melina's a beautiful dancer, da 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 da. Now, guys, remember this too. Some people have low subscriber counts just because they're starting out or just because they're, they're new to the platform, right? So just because somebody says something negative or just because somebody says something bad, you know, you don't know, some people don't know their worth, right? So they feel like they're not going to do well because someone says something negative. But you have to remember that um, not everybody that gets, most people that get insulted are usually the good ones. Okay, this is usually how it works, I think. I think the good ones that are talented, that do exceptionally well, have immense talent, have immense beauty or whatever they have, immense intelligence or whatever, or immense usefulness, will or whatever they have, or immense power, whatever, they get targeted by people that don't do well. They get people that, are make, that make comments to them because they are not doing well so they make fun of people that are doing well. And I think the reverse is true for the other way. I think people that are doing better and exceptionally well, which maybe it's not the case, but, but I think maybe, and I don't make fun of people. I never make negative comments ever. If somebody sees my name beside a negative, beside somebody's comment, it was, yeah, I don't think, you know, I think maybe people that are doing badly will make fun of people that do badly and also do good. I don't think anybody that does well is going to make fun of somebody else's channel unless they just look for drama, which I, I mean, if you're doing exceptionally well, you don't feel bad, you feel good, you know your worth, you feel like you're on top of the world, you're getting attention, so people have all this, want to talk to you all the time, so you don't have to worry about, oh, you know, about having free time because you're busy, right? Uh, but people that do badly, and are insulted will insult other people that do badly and will insult other people that are um, doing good. It's just a matter of like, if you have, let's say your channel's not doing well, your only side hustle, which you could do another side hustle, but your only side hustle is YouTube and TikTok. You've been trying for years. Nobody says anything good to you. You get all these negative comments. Um, you have all this time because no one's subscribing, no one's liking your videos. And, and so you feel like, hey, you know, I'm going to make fun of someone, right? And you do that and then you give up your channel, whatever. And then you're stuck in this rut where you're constantly making fun of people and you're always... A lot of people that are worried about their perception, the perception they have, that other people have of them, or that worry about what, what people think, are really kind of just very trapped, you know? It's like they want to make sure they're pleasing other people. They want to make sure that what they say is accepted. And... Sure, it's maybe, maybe it's not a lonely life, maybe, but the people that you're, you're, you're getting in your life are not going to be good quality, right? Because to have all these people that like you for not being yourself and for not doing what you want um, isn't good, you know? I mean, if you want to do something and you feel that you have to get approval from others, and I'm not talking about, you know, getting approval to see if it's actually like a positive thing. I'm talking about getting approval to, like if you, let's say you drink a lot of beer because your friend drinks a lot of beer and, and you get drunk all the time at your house by yourself because your friend drinks a lot of beer, right? That's not good, right? Um, now, drinking is not necessarily bad. People social drink, whatever. And you know, it's not bad to drink, but if you drink too much, you get drunk all the time, it's horrible, right? Or let's say your friend smokes, so you smoke, right? And you feel like you have to check with your friends whether you smoke a lot that day or not, right? So, you know, it's very much like, um, like, you know, who wants to live that way, right? Like for me, I, I mean, I tend to, I have a wife, I tend to be in open marriage. It takes me a while to meet somebody new sometimes. Eventually that won't happen. I'll be able to find people easily, but, but right now I'm not famous enough at all. So it's hard to find people, right? But, I really feel that, and I have my wife, but, but I really feel, you know, 
I don't have to worry about what I what people think of me. I don't worry about what people think of me. I don't care. You know, I'm not. I'm not thinking. Oh, you know, I can't dress up as Molina because somebody said Molina looks like a monster. I just feel bad for them. Usually, what I tend to do is look at their channel and see. Oh, okay. They have no subscribers, no picture, or they have no. Their their picture might be showing someone that's not as good looking as me, or anything like that. But I don't judge, and I'm supportive of them, and I think they sh they they can do well too. But you know what I mean. You, there's sure signs when someone says that a good looking person that's like drop dead gorgeous is ugly, then you know something's up, right? Anyway, darlings, totally enjoy the show, guys. Melina, 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 darling. But I always find it funny when people are like, you know, you don't look that good. I'm like, are you kidding? I look so good. I'm so happy. And people always say such nice things. My fans always tell me how gorgeous I am as Melina, how handsome I am as Marco. I feel very blessed by my fans. Thank you guys very, very much. Keep those compliments coming, darling. Keep them coming, darling. Like cash, darling. Except they're free, darling. And I want you to feel the compliment. If you call me beautiful, you're beautiful. If you call me talented, you're talented. If you call me a good singer, you're good at something that you you're good at. Maybe you're good at singing. If you if you're if you call me a good actor, you're good. If you call me a good comedian, you're good, right? I want you to feel like me when you're performing, when you're doing things. I want you to be inspired by me. No more hard days. No more tough days. No more days where you're looking at your comments and thinking, why do I get negative hate all the time? None of that, right? Don't worry about those comments. A lot of famous people don't even read the comments, right? So, so you know, if you're really, really famous and you get all these people commenting and you don't read the comments and you're living your best life, who cares then, right? So get to the point where you're famous enough that you can just ignore the comments. And I, I, I like to reach out to my fans. But eventually I'll have so many fans that I, I'm going to try to reach out to them still, but it's going to be harder because I have so many people commenting, right? But, but I really love my fans and you guys are amazing. And I read my comments. I do read my comments and I do let people know that they're good. And I let people know, hey, I'm really appreciative. I send lots of smiley faces, guys, to make sure you guys know you're good out there. To make sure you guys know that you're appreciative for what you're saying to me. I like to make sure that I overindulge in the smiley faces and overindulge in the positivity of the compliment because you're so nice to give me that compliment, all right? Now, like I said, guys, if you're, if you're getting hate and you feel like all these comments are negative, it can be draining. So do not listen to the negative comments. Do not worry. And, you know, I mean, part of it is just a matter of like, like I said, some celebrities really don't read their comments and don't bother. And they're so famous, they get so many comments. Are they going to read hater comments and be depressed about it? I mean, I, I read hater comments because I read all my comments. But when I'm really famous, am I going to be able to read? I'm going to read the negative comments still. But I'm going to respond to the positive comments, of course, that I see. But I have so many comments. But really, you know, you know at some point you have to say... Whether you read your comments or not, negative, positive, whatever, at some point you have to say your life is more valuable than the comments you're getting. You gotta bring food on the table. You gotta be living your life. You gotta do whatever you need to do. So who cares what negative comments people are saying, right? Some people have absolutely nothing. Are you gonna let somebody, and I, I'm supportive of that person, I think they shouldn't have nothing, and I want them to do well. But are you going to let somebody with no viewers, no subscribers, no, no comments, they don't get positive comments ever, they stop their channel, are you going to let somebody that says that to you make comments to you? No, right? Are you going to let somebody that says that to you when you, you just started TikTok and YouTube, let's say you have 10 subscribers when you just started, right? Give yourself that chance. You could have a viral video that's just lucky, right? And of course, I believe you're talented. I believe you're good. You get a viral video for being talented, but you can have a viral video. So don't give up. Do not let people say negative things to you. And don't clap back. Just delete the negative comment. Always delete your negative comments or disable your comments. Never clap back. Somebody might be completely like a waste of your time. 
Like if you're drop dead gorgeous and you're clapping back constantly because somebody is negative and yet they're like really not doing well at all, then you're wasting your life, you're letting yourself get into a lower level, you're letting yourself fall deep into a depression when if you saw the person you'd be like, oh my god, like I would never respond to this person, they're not someone I would even hang out with, they're not someone that I care about, they're not someone that I, like you react and you think, like if we all saw the people that commented negative, like do this for a minute, check your, when you get a negative comment, check who, who did the comment, check, like click the, click their, click their channel, see how many videos you got, they probably got two videos or three videos and no subscribers, no picture and all that, right? And let's say you're drop dead gorgeous, you have the whole world ahead of you, you're so talented, you're so good, you can do anything, and you know it, and then you get these comments and they go, no, you have to remember that these comments are just internet comments, right? We don't even know if they're bots that are making these comments, it could just be bots that are making the comments, right? Maybe there's bots that make comments that are negative and nobody makes negative comments, and you're here you are thinking, I want to unalive myself, whatever, don't let that bother you. You look at the person that made the comment. If it really is hurtful, look at the person and see. Are they having any videos? Do they have a side hustle? Are they people that you would not engage with normally? Chances are they are, right? Now, like I said, guys, I'm supportive of the haters because I know they're in a rough space. They are struggling. They are having a hard time. That is the only reason why somebody would say something negative. They're not doing well, they're not feeling good, they're not, they're not happy. Whether you're successful or not, you know, you could be someone that never gets viral, that never has a good channel, maybe you go viral to some extent, but let's say you're like the least attractive person, you have no, no potential in doing well on TikTok and YouTube to high, high levels, and someone's making negative comments. Just because you feel like you're less attractive or you're not doing well or you're not intelligent, or you'll never get anywhere, even if you think that on your own, you know, this person is no good, right? I don't ever, ever say anything to anyone's channel and say, you suck. I don't ever, ever say, you're not going to do well. I'm never going to say to someone, you know, oh my goodness, you put that video out, you know? And you have to remember that a lot of people that are really, really famous and really doing well, if they started making negative comments like that or did whatever, like, Imagine if Lady Gaga said to someone, off yourself, right? We'd all think she's ludicrous, she's insane, she's doing well, why would she bother? She could go to, we, we would probably think she should go to jail for that because she's so, she's so positive and she's so friendly. Not that she, I mean, if you make a negative comment, you can say whatever, but we would probably think, oh, she should go to jail for that because she's so successful and she's commenting on someone else like that. Or not, maybe not jail necessarily, but, you know, you think to yourself, do people that are really, really famous and really, really talented ever say that? I mean, and then you do sometimes get people that are racist and that are famous or whatever, but they get in trouble for it, right? If I was to say to someone, oh, your channel's horrible, off yourself, people would automatically say, Marco, my goodness, I'm normally Marco, they would say, oh my goodness, like Marco, you can't say that. And they would literally basically say, I have no credibility, I'm not good. I might as well give up my channel now, I'm basically going to be cancelled because of that, right? So you have to remember that no one that's successful is ever going to say anything negative to you. No one that's talented is ever going to say anything negative to you because they have too much at stake. They can't be like that. Why would we be like that, right? I'm too busy. I've got things to do. I've got videos to make. I've got, I've got lifting up people's spirits. I've got ch challenging people's right abilities to think about human rights, I've got, I've got so much positivity to give, I've got so many talents to give, I have so many looks to create. I'm not going to say those things. No one in their right mind that's any good is going to say those things. Anyway, please re remember this. When you think of offing yourself when you see a comment like that, just remember that, just look at their channel, like I said, okay? And then, and then compare yourself to the person and think, okay, well, I have a better look, by far, maybe, I mean, that's not always true, that's not always true, and I'm supportive of my haters, remember that guys, I believe everyone has a chance, should have a chance, and everyone should do well, and I would never say anything about anyone being less attractive, whatever. but you know what I mean, so you look at their channel and think, oh, they don't look as good as I do, they're not talented, 
they have no subscribers and I have a lot. You know, it's getting to the point now where I have enough subscribers where it's like, if someone with five subscribers makes a comment to me and I'm just thinking like, you do realize I have like, not that I have a lot, I'm not famous yet and I haven't gone viral, I totally believe I should don't. But you know what I mean? Like, it's like, okay, you have five subscribers, no picture, videos that are not looking like they're going to go viral and you're criticizing me? Like, obviously something's wrong, right? Anyway, totally enjoy, guys. Bye now. Thank you.